Cảm ơn quý vị vẫn giữ màn hình. Để tiếp tục, Bích Phượng có mời quý vị theo dõi phần 2 của cuộc phỏng vấn Giám đốc Sở Quản lý và Bảo vệ Người Tiêu dùng tại thủ đô Hoạch Thành Đốn do nhà văn Đào Trần Phúc thực hiện. Okay, now um, we would like to ask you something about construction. Now, suppose we um, have a plan to build up a new business. We need to build up a new facility, or we need to uh, make addition to an existing facility. Yeah. Uh, okay, so please tell us what construction projects require a building permit. Pretty much. Uh, most construction projects require building permits mm. uh, in the district to safeguard and protect the public as well as the business owner and the structure. Nobody wants to walk into a building thinking, when is it going to collapse? Mm. Nobody wants to walk into a building not knowing that it's been thoroughly inspected and meets mm. a minimum level. Mm. So the premise behind the building permit is to ensure that people build according to code. And we've made investments uh, through the funding we've received from Mayor Bowser to make the permitting process streamlined. We have a process where you can get a permit in one day. We have a process where we review permits and guarantee that we'll finish the review if it's not an accelerated permit review in 30 business days or less. And these are some of the measures that we've put in place so that people are not discouraged from applying for a permit because they think it's going to take so long. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, so how do we obtain a building permit and how does DCRA help us doing that? DCRA's role touches on a number of uh, different areas from regulating construction, regulating businesses, and ensuring that businesses are in compliance with um, the CB's uh, laws and regulations. How can DCRA help people get permits? You can file an application online describing the project, or you can come to our office and then have what we call the preliminary design meeting where you don't need to file for a permit application, but you can talk to somebody about the project, whether you're trying to retrofit an existing space, whether you're trying to build an addition, and they will look at your scope of work and then give you guidance on how exactly you can obtain the permit. Mm. And if you're looking for an expedited permit, they will also inform you about the process to get the expedited permit. Oh, thank you so much for that. Um, and you know, we have to relay the messages to our viewers and readers. So let's go to um, the bottom line of this um, issue we are talking about. Please tell us, what are the penalties for building without a permit? It's an area that we strongly discourage because of the harm that it creates and the associated risk. Mm. If somebody builds without a permit, they risk getting the building demolished, and we've done that. If somebody builds without a permit, they risk getting fines, serious fines. And if it is a habitual offender, they could risk also going to jail. So there are severe penalties in place around building without a permit. Okay, that's really what we need to know and what people need to know. So thank you so much for, um, well, um, your answers to those questions. We will uh, write a report. We will um, relay all the messages from the CRA to the uh, Vietnamese people living in um, whether in the metropolitan area of Virginia, Maryland, or D.C., and um, if they want to move to D.C. to live or start the business in D.C., we'll let them know whatever they need to know. 
and we thank you so much for your time and your answers to these questions. Thank you for your time. It's been a pleasure getting to understand some of the topics of interest from the Vietnamese community. There's one thing I'm going to leave you with. Regardless of the nature of the question that any listener has, they should know that there are a few things we have in place to help them. One, if they are even concerned about language, we have translators available through the language line mm -hmm. that are available through our normal business hours. Mm -hmm. So if somebody doesn't even know how to ask their question, as long as they can describe, they can have a conversation with us, we can get them an answer in the language that they need. We've translated a lot of our information. Our website is also translated through our partnership with the Mayor's Office of Asian Pacific Islander Affairs. Mm -hmm. And the second piece is that we want them to be our customer. And that is something that we are singularly focused on so that we can help them meet their dreams and aspirations, whether they just want to live in a city or they want to build a business in the city. Okay. Kính thưa quý vị, VTV sáng nay đến đây là chấm dứt. Mọi liên lạc hay đóng góp ý kiến cho VTV, xin email về vatvnews at gmail.com. Bích Phượng xin kính chào tạm biệt và hẹn gặp lại quý vị vào kỳ tới. Kính chúc quý vị có một cuối tuần an vui và hạnh phúc bên người thân và gia đình. <cười>